identify the correct statement regarding the device shown in this image. So in this image what do we see? We see the tooth, some clinical diagnosis happening. Now where is this tip going? It is going in between the uh, soft tissue and the hard tissue. So this is an endoscope basically for periodontal purpose. So this is called a perioscope. This is an image of a perioscope. Okay. Now let's see the options. What are the correct statements? It permits deep subgingival visual visualization in pockets. In the image itself, they are visualizing the pocket subgingivally. So this is definitely correct. Permits deep subgingival visualization in furcation. Again, if this was a multi-rooted tooth, if the furcation was somewhere here, we can visualize it with this tape. This is correct. Shows a perioscopic instrument. So now that we know that two options are correct and the fourth option is all of the above, it is more likely that the third option is correct. Actually, the third option should be the one that would guide you to the other options because it is a perioscope. It helps in visualization of pockets and furcation. Okay. So the answer to this question is all of the above. Now on parallel lines, this is how a perioscope looks clinically. So the visualization is done on the screen and the tip goes into the sulcus and it helps in visualization of the furcations and the subgingival, the subgingival pocket. So a dental endoscope has been introduced for subgingival diagnosis and treatment of periodontal disease given by perioscopy system. It consists of a 0.9 millimeter diameter reusable fiber optic endoscope with a disposable sterile sheet. So remember this, the tip, the diameter of the tip is 0.9 millimeters. It fits into the periodontal pocket and they are designed in a way that the pocket can accept it. The sheet delivers water irrigation that flushes the pocket while the endoscope is being used thereby keeping the field clear. So this is the mechanism of action. This is the size and the uses like I told you for exploration of the subgingival epithelium and for furcation.